of Pittsburgh Hospital under investigation because of its building. And a fashionable surprise popped up at Market Square. We got those stories and more. Point News starts now. Good afternoon. I'm Live from the Point Park University Broadcast Center in downtown Pittsburgh, this is Point News. Good afternoon, I'm Tashia Thompson. And I'm Nick Versella. Did you know that Pennsylvania has the highest gas tax rate out of any state? Experts say that it's partly because we're further away from the supply. But lately, the entire country has been experiencing a nice change in gas prices. Point News reporter Brittany Lawfer takes a look at the impact of those lower prices. It, ha it hasn't been this low to fill up your tank in a while. In Pittsburgh, the average is $2.49. And while that may seem good, it's still higher than the national average, which is 10 cents lower at $2.39. Gas prices are always changing. Marty Galassi of Moon Township likes the current direction because he has to fill up either way. Well, it's always welcome, that's for sure. Uh, but, you know, it's one of those things. I mean, I, I, I look at them, but then I say, well, what, what can I really do about them? i got to fill my tank. But, uh... The good news for Marty and the rest of us is for the past 30 consecutive days, gas prices have been going down. And that's because of crude oil. Right now, crude is at $44 a barrel. And when we see crude oil continue to decrease, normally gas prices will follow suit. With the lower gas prices comes some concern. AAA says with even more people out on the roads, it means even more distracted driving. Everything from texting behind the wheel to changing stations on the radio. It didn't take me long to find drivers doing just that. AAA says despite campaigns to stop texting and driving, it's getting worse. So we actually did a study in May and it said that this year was the worst year since we've been tracking texting and, and driving and distraction-free driving. This has been the worst year since we've started um, tracking those trends. And I, I, I'm probably an offender. Uh, I, know, I know I'm an offender, but uh, uh, you know, I try to cut it back as much as I can. So uh, I think we're always inundated. We're always trying to get something done. Uh, so we do when we get back to the office or we get out of work on time, but uh, it's, it's really something we obviously should not be doing. Marty's right, especially now with more people on the roads taking advantage of the cheaper gas. Reporting for Point News, I'm Brittany Lawfer. Today, Pope Francis continued his historic trip in the United States with the first several address to Congress. The Pope arrived in the U.S. on Tuesday. He was met by President Obama, Vice President Joe Biden, and their families. After Washington, D.C., the Pope will move on to the New York City, where he will visit the 9-11 Memorial Museum and hold a mass in Madison Square Garden. The Pope's final stop will be in Philadelphia before departing for Rome on September 27. Last year, it was free. But this year, get ready to pay if you want to watch Point Park Sports online. In the off-season, the university's athletic department teamed up with Stretch Internet Streaming. The good news is, though, the quality will be higher for the pay-per-view programming. The athletic communications director, Tevin, Kevin Taylor, expects the transition to be positive. Advantages uh, from a national perspective uh, and also from a conference level, uh, more visibility in our games, I feel like we would be uh, with the, the best streaming provider that is possible. You can choose from three online packages. For one game, you'll pay about $8. For a $25 package, you, there's a $25 package for any sports season. And for $75, you can watch all the games on Monday night, we have half off girls. Viewers can tune in online through Point Park's website to watch coverage. Point Park students have a new restaurant to add to their rotation, and it specializes in a simple favorite from home. The yard in Market Square is now up and running. The restaurant, which has another location in Shadyside, is well known for gourmet grilled cheese sandwiches. 
Owner Dave Ondike says their weekly specials are also popular with the customers. Uh, Tuesdays we have $5 uh, sliders and flights, and Wednesday nights we have uh, half-off bottles of wine from 7 to 10 as well. Thank you. Five, that one. On Dyke says they're in the process of adding a college discount. Students who want to unwind and listen to music before the weekend begins now have something to look forward to. The Campus Activities Board is bringing back its fall concert series starting tonight at 6. Point Park's own Gabe Reed will be performing songs off of his newly released album. You may have heard the chants or seen the signs around campus. Point Park security guards want their voices heard. This demonstration on Wood Street at lunchtime on September 3rd. The guards are demanding a pay raise. They feel the current rate of $9.50 an hour isn't enough. SEIU is a labor union that represents almost 2 million workers all over the world. Coming on Point News UPMC under investigation, the reason government health officials visit the hospital. And Point Park's media teams have a new makeover for the school year. Details are coming up. Here at the Pioneer sideline, we get freshmen involved as quickly as possible so they get the real world experience on air and behind the scenes to set themselves apart in internships and potential jobs. Blaine, where is that video? I needed it in Key Pro like yesterday. All right, I got you, Chris. But I had a quick question for you guys. What do you mean a question? Just, like, it's always a question. Uh, it's always a what? Where is he? Blaine. 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 Freshman, you can't find any good ones anymore. Ever wanted to be behind the mic and have the world listening to your show on campus? Well, it's just as simple as joining WPPJ, Point Park's student-run radio station, located on the second floor of Lawrence Hall, right next to the dining services. Listeners can tune in using Point Park's website or through the TuneIn app by searching WPPJ. WPPJ welcomes any new DJs that want to get involved, so be heard. Do you have what it takes? expression, a belief, a symbol, freedom to worship, an unspoken word. To express yourself means standing up for what you believe in. There's a freedom to worship, a freedom to live, to speak never saying a word, to love, to let your voice be heard, the light of your own path. For more information, visit www.freedomofspeechpsa.org. One thing we're focusing on. Infectious control expert are now investigating UPMC Presbyterian and Montefiore Hospital for mold. After patients receiving transplants contracted fungi infection, three people came down with the infection. One person died. UPMC made the decision to shut down its transplant program during the investigation. A new study released Monday of the top 27 nationally ranked universities said that one in four women have reported being sexually assaulted in the last year. The survey also said that only an average of 28% of these cases were reported. University officials hope Title IX, which is a federal law, can effectively educate students and faculty when it comes to recognizing and handling sexual misconduct. The annual internship and job fair is coming to campus. The event helps students network with more than 100 employer, employers looking to fulfill internships as well as part-time and full-time positions. This event will be held at the Student Center on September 29th from 12 to 3.30 p.m. If you have any question about the fair or your resume, email career development at careerdev at pointpark.edu. A new addition is coming to the Student Center. A new front desk is currently being installed on the first floor. Security officials say that the desk will make the first floor more appealing to visitors. 
The desk will also have more openings for the guards to leave through in case of an emergency. Pittsburghers are slowly getting over the sadness of downtown Macy closing, but the latest news might ease the pain just a little. It was just announced that Light Up Night patrons will be able to view the holiday window display just one last time. Core Reality, who purchased the building for $15 million, is working out the deal to allow holiday displays to make an appearance for one more season. Market Square is always a hot pot for events. This past Thursday, there was a pop-up fashion market around lunchtime. Fifteen vendors brought up select merchandise to the square. One particular vendor, Marissa Zimmerman from Mahanganela, showed up with her entire store, the Vintage Valet, which is a mobile boutique. The clothing from the vendors ranged in prices as well as styles and showcased some of the best vendors in Pittsburgh. Coming up in sports, the Pirates break out the champagne in Colorado. Details of the victory that sent them to their third straight postseason. Plus, Campus Media is under new management. The new leaders after the break. is rebranding WPPJ. Here at the Pioneer sideline, we get freshmen involved as quickly as possible so they get the real world experience on air and behind the scenes to set themselves apart in internships and potential jobs. Blaine, where is that video? I needed it in Key Pro like yesterday. All right, I got you, Chris. But I had a quick question for you guys. What do you mean the question? Like, it's always a question. Uh, it's always a what? Where is he? Blaine. 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 Freshmen, you can't find any good ones anymore. Do you ever wanted to be behind the mic and have the world listening to your show on campus? Well, it's just as simple as joining WPPJ, Point Park's student-run radio station, located on the second floor of Lawrence Hall, right next to the dining services. Listeners can tune in using Point Park's website or through the TuneIn app by searching WPPJ. WPPJ welcomes any new DJs that want to get involved, so be heard. Do you have what it takes? An expression, a belief, a symbol, freedom to worship, an unspoken word. To express yourself means standing up for what you believe in. So there's a freedom to worship, a freedom to live. To speak never saying a word, to love, to let your voice be heard. The light of your own path. For more information, visit www.freedomofspeechpsa.org. Point Park's campus radio station, WPPJ, is officially under new student management. WPPJ has always had success in getting students interested in the station, but this year, increasing involvement is just one of the goals the new general manager has in mind. Point News talked to new executive board, the new executive board about what changes they plan to make to better the radio station. One thing we're focusing on is rebranding WPPJ, making students that aren't part of broadcasting aware of WPPJ, and also just trying to make the student body at, in general aware and listening and being involved. We're really excited at WPPJ to have over 40 shows. It's, uh, it's been a, a big boost up from semesters in the past, and uh, we're really excited this semester. I'm having a blast. We just one thing we're focusing on is rebranding WPPJ, making students that aren't part of broadcasting aware of WPPJ, and also just trying to make the student body at, in general aware and listening. You can find WPPJ on the radio at 7, 6, 7, 670 AM or online at WPPJradio.com. UVU's morning talk show Daybreak is using the semester to undergo some major changes. The TV studio... The TV studio itself went through a huge change. At, keep reading. Went through a huge change 
of the sem at the beginning of the semester with the installation of the new set. As for Daybreak, the show's new producers are using the opportunity to take the show in some different directions. For this semester, since we have all this new equipment, we're trying to trying out things since we're learning the new equipment still. We want to, we have some ideas, like my co-producer and I have some ideas to use all the new equipment, like the virtual set, to do some cool segments. Um, this, this, sem this semester and next semester, we're going to keep a segment where we're going to have um, two reporters discuss like all the political events because of the election and stuff. I think, if anything, that I will try to make it more fun, especially with interviews. I think if we do an interview, I'm definitely going to try and ask off-the-wall questions to make it more fun, more exciting, not just the traditional what do you do, why do you do it, just try and ask more fun questions just to make the whole show a little bit livelier instead of just a traditional kind of morning news show. Daybreak shoots every Thursday night, 8 in the TV studio and can be seen on UView or online at youtube.com slash television. Right now, let's get a check on the weather. It's a beautiful fall day out there today. Will we have a nice weekend to match? Let's send it over to Aubrey Hankins for your forecast. Aubrey? Thanks, guys. Well, you're definitely right. The weather has been gorgeous today. And the high today is in 82 degrees, and the low is only 55 degrees. But there's the sun has been shining, and there's been 0% chance of precip precipitation. Sorry. So now let's take a look if that weather is going to continue onto your weekend. On Friday, it's still in the 80s, still pretty warm. 82 is the high, 55 is the low. But then on Saturday, things do start to cool down a little bit. The high becomes a 75 and the low is a 55. And on Sunday, the high is also 75 with a low of 52. But on Sunday, you can expect to see some rain. So that kind of stinks. But other than that, the weather has been beautiful. So it's definitely almost sweater season. Back to you guys at the desk. The Pittsburgh Pirates are back in the postseason. The Bucks secured a playoff spot after last night's 13 to 7 win against the Colorado Rockies. The Pirates are now four games behind the division, leading St. Louis Cardinals. They play the Rockies again today at 3:10. They have another afternoon matchup against the Chicago Cubs tomorrow. Pirates official meantime have announced that on Sept Monday, September 28th. A limited number of tickets will go on sale to the general public for possible wild cards and division series games at PNC Park. Tickets will go on sale at 10 a.m. Fans can buy a maximum of four tickets per person. For the one possible wild card game and three potential division series games, the Steelers are set to play the St. Louis Rams this Sunday at 1 p.m. The Steelers are hoping to bring home another big win after they defeated the 49ers last Sunday at Heinz with a blowout score 43-18. to The win earned Steeler quarterback Ben Roethlisberger AFC Offensive Player of the Week honors. The Penguins fired up the preseason home opener on Tuesday with a 7-3 win against Carolina. They hope to keep the momentum going tonight against the Detroit Red Wings. In a few Point Park sports headlines, the women's soccer team hoped to redeem themselves after losing 6-0 against Spring Arbor Monday. The women's volleyball team, meantime, brought home their fourth winning game last Saturday night against IU Southeast with the score 3-1. They take on Ohio next Friday here at Point Park. Right now, let's get one last check with the weather with Aubrey Henkin. Hopefully the weather will tune out good. Right, Aubrey? Yes, as I said, the weekend should be pretty good weather. Um, on Friday, it's going to be warm, 82 degrees, low of only 55, but still pretty sunny. But then on Saturday, it does start to cool down, high of 75, low of 55. And then Sunday is our worst day of the weekend because there is a very high chance of rain, and the high is only 75. So make sure that you bring in your umbrellas and things like that because it will rain this weekend, but other than that, it should be pretty beautiful. So make sure you go out and enjoy the wonderful weather as it lasts. Well, that does it for this week's Point News. Be sure to join us next Thursday live at 2 p.m. Have a great weekend, everybody.
here. Can you can you get off your chairs and put them all the way to the to the floor?